Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Grimrock 2. Now, we're back, but not where I said we would be. Hello there. We are currently standing by the silent face, watching as a bridge magically appears here to the center made by the trickster. Alright, well let's get over and look at that. That looks interesting. I was expecting we'd find something here, but that was not... Oh, it's gone now. No! No bridge, come back! Does that mean the bridge is just there and you can walk on it, or does it have to be quick? Like, do I have to stand here, wait for him to run across, and then sprint around to try and get across before it goes away? I have no idea. There he goes again, so we run quickly after him. Made it. What are you doing? He vanished. Well, we made it across, which is cool. What's over here, though? I think this is the last temple. Ooh, that looks interesting. There is a tunnel down here. We're not done in the cemetery yet, but this area seems interesting. And since we've only just figured out how to get here for the first time, I'm tempted to explore it a little bit. Still can't get across to there, though. This does seem like it's one of those temple rooms, though. And it looks like this time, the pass stayed. Maybe because we made it across? Okay. This is the elemental shrine of water. Water is the rune of willpower and frost. Southeast is when the forces of water are strongest. Oh, the seeker of the hidden shrine. Only by standing in the place with perfect elemental equi equilibrium shalt thou summon forth the gate to the hidden one. Hmm. Bring forth four power gems to fuse them into the essence of the element. Not all of the gems lie under the sky, some of them are buried deep underground. So you put all four power gems like normal to make the water element. Do we have any power gems right now? We have air, earth, and fire already. So this is where we have to make the last element. So we know that some of the remaining ones are in the cemetery, the other ones must be in the pyramid, I guess. Scroll of Frost Shield. Huh. We probably can do that already, don't we? Yeah, we already have that spell. So that's not super useful to us, but uh, we'll hold on to it anyway. I don't know if we need these anymore. I think we can probably get away with dropping them. Since we've already opened up the passage to the cemetery, and that's all that those are about, we can probably avoid holding on to them any further. Okay, well we found the elemental shrine of water. That's good. That's the last one that we needed. There is, however, still a dungeon over here, and a mystery item, which may involve some kind of trap. Nope, the Venom Fang Pick doesn't appear to have been a trap. What is it? It's a light weapon, 9 to 27 damage. Okay. Ignores 20 points of enemy armor. If you have light weapons 3 and earth magic 1, you can bite things with it. I don't know what that means. But that's just not as good as anything else we've got. I guess it's because you could have found this much earlier. It's cool. A tooth from a venom fang lizard is attached to a pole, which makes for a simple but effective weapon. But it's not very good compared to the gear we've already got. Okay, well let's go down this tunnel and see what's down here. We'll go back to the cemetery later, but for now I'm interested in seeing what's in this area. Oh, we're underwater. Is it a completely underwater dungeon? Oh boy. This looks like it could be a nightmare. There must be some kind of water breathing spell or ability or something, otherwise this kind of stuff is just cruel. Let's get out before we start to suffocate quickly and we'll go back in. Oh boy, this is a big place too. Run, 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 run. 
Yeah, there goes the suffocation. Thankfully, we made it out. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure what we need to do in there, but uh, the fact that it's entirely underwater makes me question it. There must be some uh, some way to figure this out. Let's just mark this underwater dungeon, and we'll remove this because we figured it out. Silent One's friend is towards the sunrise. Okay, this is the Silent One. The Silent One's friend is towards the sunrise over here in the east. That makes sense now. Are there any other mysterious uh, clues we've uncovered? I don't think so. We've already solved that one. Okay, well, that's definitely going to be something, but we don't know what that something is yet. I guess we'll come back and investigate this later and see if we maybe get some way to survive better underwater. Especially since this is the Shrine of Water, we're probably going to need something like that. It's nice that that bridge stays now, though, so we can actually get across there. Alright, let's go back and investigate where we actually said we were going to go in the cemetery. That was interesting, though. I wasn't expecting uh, the bridge to take us across to the central island. I was expecting it to just be a small bonus item that we would get. But I'm not complaining. Okay, so we need to go over this way now. I believe. And then go to the left here, perhaps. No? Did I take the wrong path? I did. It's back over that way. Okay. We should also check out down here. Because we haven't done that yet. And there is a ladder back up. Oh, good. It's an army of zombies. Just what we always wanted. We're probably going to get attacked by from behind in a second, but we'll cl clear... Click, 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 click. Clear these guys out first. Oh, they're very patient zombies. I'll give them that. Fire didn't do too much damage to them. Oh, we're going to get cornered if we're not careful here. We should be able to kill these guys pretty darn quick, though. Ooh, that was a mighty blows right there. That should speed things up significantly. There we go. Those crits were something. All right, is there anything else down here to justify why we came down here? I don't think so. I think this is just a place to go to recover your items. There is a bag here, though. It's got some bread and some horned fruit. Well, the horned fruit is going to be going to our insect friend because he can level up with that. Uh, didn't, though. You can eat a cheese. Hey, you gained a vitality. Well done, Sheld. Stack up your things here again, too. And... You hungry? No, you'll be fine. You could use the bread, though. And we'll put that empty bag down the bottom. Perfect. Okay, is there anything else of interest down here? Just one little alchemical ingredient. We'll take it, though. Shouldn't look a gift in the mouth. Alright, let's get back up here and see what's down the other path. Because this is the path we actually meant to go on before. Over to this mystery button puzzle. So. We can stand on levers to make things move. Potentially, I get the feeling... Hang on, what does this button do? Oh. Make something poof over there. So maybe if something gets stuck here... Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Do we have to break all the pots in the way so that something can get all the way through to the end? Because that makes something appear here and then immediately break. Hmm. Okay, so this is, a, this is an interesting situation. Let's... Let's grab our throwing rocks. And we're gonna throw... I was right. We have to try and break all these things somehow. I don't know how this is going to work. That's two of them broken. Or one of them broken, anyway. That comes out that way, which is weird. Hang on, let's do this. That time it went that way. What? Oh, I see. I was doing it right. We want to open it, switch it, I think. Yes! 
because that broke that one now. So now if we break this one, then we'll be able to get our, our, our portal thing all the way to the end. I don't know what it does, but we'll be able to get it there. I'm going to throw one more shuriken at this. Okay, now we push the button and it might work, because that's the receptor right there. I think it'll get all the way across now. It did. It only opened one of these doors, though. Alright, there's the shurikens back. There's two of the stones back. There's the rest of the stones back, I think. Yeah. And that doesn't actually move us at all. There are zombies here, though, so we'll have to deal with them quickly. Hello, zombie. Good thing we can shoot through here. I didn't know if that was going to work or not. Can you walk in there? You can. So it looks like it does only affect projectiles, and it doesn't seem to affect our magic either. And he's dead, and Vanguard leveled up. Fantastic. Let's see what else we find over here first before we look into that just yet. Oh, hello. Didn't even see you there. A bit of a jump. Can I freeze you solid? Yes, we can. All right, that gives us a second here to murder you. Here's a switch, which leads to the center. Oh, okay, that leads to the net, the hub, doesn't it? And over this way, we have a whole pile of nothing. A glowy dagger, which I don't trust at all. And a grave pit with a skull in it. Hmm, interesting. Let's grab a new torch. Dump this one. And let's take a look at our level up here. We could put some more points into accuracy so we don't miss so much. We could also give you a couple points in concentration, because that would let you use your shield abilities. Because I think this and the meteor shield both required um, concentration to be able to use. We also still have a piece of meteorite that I don't know what we're supposed to do with. There's also a zombie over there moving about. I don't know what to put your skill points into, though. Dodge could be good as well, getting more evasion so you don't get hit as much. I think we might do evasion just to get you that cooldown reduction. Athletics would let you carry more. All of those could be good. Critical is not such a big deal for us. Because you don't use daggers. Uh, at 5th level, you can backstab with any light weapon, though, and you are a light weapons user, so I might want to give you backstabbing ability to take advantage of the fact that you are using light weapons anyway. And you have the accuracy bonus, so you don't miss as often now. You know what? You use light weapons, Vanguard. We're going to give you critical bonuses. Here you go. It's unusual to give a tanky knight critical, but uh, we're going to do it anyway because we have a bit of a weird setup with some of our heroes here. Okay. Now I see you're moving over there, skeleton. But you, or zombie, rather, but you can't get to us. So that's that door open. Some more black moss. We will take it. Presumably that leads to the hub, but it might not. The sign might be lying to us. The Legend of Kilhagen. Oh. Trying as hard as he could, Kilhagen could not avenge his crew. With time and with the words of the stone philosophers echoing in his mind, he finally let his wrath go. In the following years, he gradually gained the illumination, and he became a seeker of necks. There's a round shield. And a machete. Is this any good? I don't think so. 6 to 18. You know, that's a bad weapon. Alright, Kilhagen. What's in your grave? Nothing. Just bones. Sorry, Kilhagen. Is this the hub portal? Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's a dungeon. Okay, so that's a tomb. Yeah, the Wormbound Catacombs is not... Not what I was expecting. I guess that key unlocks a hub portal like here or something and doesn't actually have anything to do with this area. So before we go in there, let's look around around here still because 
We know that there's still that skull over here. Hang on. I just noticed this. Anything through here? Nope. Just some plants. <laughs> well, okay. Fair enough. There's this obviously trapped looking dagger. Hey, friend. I knew you would be appearing down here. Too much to expect that there was this would not be a trap. Alright, you're dead. What is this? There's a skull for our Minotaur bag. Bag of skulls. There you go. Get stronger, friend. What is this? A note. There is a fountain with an ancient oak by its side. From the oak, take four steps to the east, and then two steps to the south you shall stride. The treasure now lies beneath your feet. Okay. I think that fountain is in the town. Back over in Stormbreach. I think this is it right here. So we will check that sometime when we're back in that area, because we have plenty to do over there still. Just chug a healing potion, because we've got plenty, and that will mean that we're a little bit safer if this winds up actually being a trap, which we expect it to be. No. It's not a trap. We did get an ethereal blade, though. Wow, 10 to 30 plus dexterity. Not quite as good as our Bone Blade, but what does it do? Accuracy plus 15, okay. The brightly glowing blade of the dagger passes through solid matter with ease, and it even leaves living tissue completely unharmed. If it leaves living tissue completely unharmed... Oh, it is ethereal 10 to 30. Oh, that's weird. Okay, we need to, we need to keep a hand on this thing. I don't know if we're going to need it, but we're going to keep it in hand, because that sounds very unusual. Let's put the meteor shield in this hand, so we're still wearing a shield if we switch to this loadout. Yeah, that is that is some weird, some weird stuff there. I don't know what ethereal means. It says it leaves living tissue unharmed, so I guess it bypasses... What's it meant for? I have no idea. We'll find out, though. It's it's unique. We've never found anything like this before. So that's cool. I guess we're going to go into the tomb. Because that seems to be the next place to go. We've explored most of the rest of this area. There is this power gem over here. And whatever's on the other side of this puzzle over there. But we've got access to the tomb, so... We might as well go check it out. All right, let's go investigate the tomb. What could possibly go wrong in here? What could possibly go wrong? I'm guessing we're gonna get a lot more zombies and horrible other undeads in here. There's a lever to pull. Rather, a switch to pull. Bunch more things. There's another lever. These catacombs were built as the final resting place for the Wormbound family, who, for countless generations, acted as envoys and ambassadors between the dragons and the other sentient species of the realm. The long-lasting truce was broken when Zarand and Orul Wormbound stole an egg from the nest and escaped to the Isle of Nex with a hatchling on board their airship. The Master rarely grants wishes, but for their great services he granted the Wormbounds the gift of immortality. Doesn't look like he did. These guys look pretty dead. But apparently they delivered a, dr a dragon egg to the Isle of Nex. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. There's going to be dragons here. We know that basically for certain now. <laughs> the 
bridge. Oh. Well, that is an inventive name there, guys. Well done. I hear things moving. Hello! More of you horrible abominations. Lovely. Okay. We know there's a tunnel over this way we can look down without opening anything yet. Never mind. Something's moving around in there, but we don't know what it is yet. Does seem to be locked still, though. Okay, fair enough. Does this liver do what we think it does? Looks like it. This doesn't look safe, though. There it is. Color me surprised. We'll save the game. And take a look around here. Is there anything else in this room has changed? No, but we can see there's a room underneath here. Hello! Things did change when we hit the lever, or at least when we walked into the room. Come one step forward there, gentlemen. Come on. Hit you with area effect attacks, so you all take damage. Let's try fire on these guys. It does damage. That did nothing. It specifically hit for zero. So it doesn't work against the undead. Uh oh. Kind of boxed ourselves in here, that's not good. One of them is dead, though, so that's something. And they're both dead. Okay, so I have no idea what this does. This ethereal dagger didn't do anything to the undead, which is what I thought was the entire point of it. Um, we'll put one more point into athletics here so that you get the carrying capacity increase we were looking for. You're now a pack mule. Very nice. And we're probably going to be putting some points in some other things for you soon, but we'll see. So, for now... Is this anything? Skull Cleave. 7 to 22 strength damage. So nowhere near as good as anything else we've got already. Okay. Let's go kill that other guy and find those items that were hidden over here, because I know they left something behind. Do a bit of damage that way. Well, we were right about there being undeads in here. Oh, we missed though. That's not good. running out of bullets, though, which is not great. That seems to be an eternal problem with uh, with having guns. You'd think that alchemy maybe would have a, some way to uh, let you make more ammo, but it doesn't seem to be the case. You seem to be stuck with picking up whatever you can find. And he's down. There we go. Alright, let's run quickly over to the save point here just to heal up for free. And what is this? Two lightning bombs and some mudwort. Okay. Well, lightning bombs look like they're putting you over your weight capacity, so let's take something off your hands here. Do you have anything here that weighs too much? Just the bombs, really. The essences don't weigh anything. These notes are a little bit heavy, but I kind of want you to hold on to them. Do I have anything I can get rid of for you? I can get rid of these lightning rods, because we're not using them. There's two lightning rods there if we ever decide we need them, but we haven't ever used them. More than once, anyway, because we have magic of our own. So I don't think that's going to be an immediate problem. Yeah, there's nothing in this room. We just had the bad guys in it. Okay. Did anything else change? That's all the same. This side probably won't have changed because it has its own switch. Do a quick scan about just to make sure nothing else has immediately changed here. It looks like it just changed that though. Yeah, okay, well let's take a look inside then. What is that? That doesn't look nice. I don't know what it is, but I don't like the look of it. Alright, well...
Hello there, skeleton. So we know there's a skelly man hiding right under there. Oh, it's one of those eye grabber men. Ugh. So either side that we go down here has bad business in it. Kind of want to, like, peek around this corner. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. Ooh. Sounds like something's coming. I will take that the, the lock picks though; those will be handy. Hello, friend. You are entirely okay, especially by yourself. I have no problem with you or your kind here, especially since, as far as I can tell, this is your house that we are invading and being bad in. Has nothing to do with you. Alright, the ancient helm. We don't want ancient items because they drain your health. Our torch is getting dim already again. We may run out of torches soon. We have to rely on just magical light. There's something up there from the looks of it, but maybe not. It's just a torch bracket. Okay. Well, what else is down here? More pots. Hello, bat monster. Boop. Don't get hit by his lightning. Or his grabby hands. Come on back. Oh no. There's two of them here, isn't there? Okay, one's dead. That's good. There's items over there. We'll come back and look at those in a second. It sounds like there's all manner of nasty beasties over here, though. So we're going to be careful about it, and we'll see in a second. Just want you to freeze so I can kill you with impunity. We're running super low on bullets too, which is scary. Hang on, was this the way we were up at before? No. There's some plate gauntlets. I don't know if we found those before. We have mirror gauntlets or crystal gauntlets already, which are just plain old better. But I'm going to hold on to them anyway. For now. It's kind of disappointing. If we came here too late, then basically everything that we find is not going to be any good. The flail looks cool, though. 12 to 36 damage. Still not as good as anything else here. 5 second cooldown. Ignores 10 points of enemy armor. Has a stun on it. A 30% chance stun. Not bad. Not as good as the flail either, though. <laughs> and... Or the maul, rather. All these interesting items, and they're, none of them are any good to us. Alright, let's keep looking. There's another door there we haven't opened yet. Yeah, this is what we were looking at before. Now we're over here. Let's come back and explore down this way and see what... Oh, we're underneath the save point now. Okay. Now I know where we are. We can't get up there, but we can come over this way. There's a ladder. And another ladder. Okay, so we can get around to a bunch of different places in this dungeon. We also have this room over here we can go look at. We're going to go look at the room in the top corner, and then we're probably going to be ending this episode pretty quick. So let's see what we find over here first. Then we can go explore the far side. We found a door. Well, maybe not then. <laughs> I have a feeling that there's a big ominous door behind another big ominous door that there's probably going to be something bad on the other side. So we are going to not go in there for now. We'll go there later when we have a whole episode to explore it. 
So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some Legend of Grimrock 2 for you, exploring the Worm Tongue, Worm Bound Catacombs, rather. Not Worm Tongue, that's Legend. <laughs> legend. It's Lord of the Rings. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know what you thought about in the comments below. And until then, thank you very much, and bye bye. This looks like it could be a nightmare. There must be some kind of water breathing spell or ability or something, otherwise this kind of stuff is just cruel. Let's get out before we start to suffocate quickly and we'll go back in. Oh boy, this is a big place too. Run, 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 run. Yeah, there goes the suffocation. Thankfully, we made it out. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure what we need to do in there, but uh, the fact that it's entirely underwater makes me question it. There must be some uh, some way to figure this out. Let's just mark this underwater dungeon, and we'll remove this because we figured it out. Silent one's friend is towards the sunrise. Okay, this is the silent one. The silent one's friend is towards the sunrise over here in the east. That makes sense now. Are there any other mysterious uh, clues we've uncovered? I don't think so. Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Grimrock 2. Now, we're back, but not where I said we would be. Hello there. We are currently standing by the silent face, watching as a bridge magically appears here to the center made by the trickster. All right, well, let's get over and look at that. That looks interesting. I was expecting we'd find something here, but that was not... Oh, it's gone now. No. No bridge, come back. Does that mean the bridge is just there and you can walk on it? Or does it have to be quick? Like, do I have to stand here, wait for him to run across, and then sprint around to try and get across before it goes away? I have no idea. There he goes again, so we run quickly after him. Okay, well we found the elemental shrine of water. That's good. That's the last one that we needed. There is, however, still a dungeon over here, and a mystery item, which may involve some kind of trap. Nope, the Venom Fang Pick doesn't appear to have been a trap. What is it? It's a light weapon, 9 to 27 damage. Okay. Ignores 20 points of enemy armor. If you have light weapons 3 and earth magic 1, you can bite things with it. I don't know what that means. But that's just not as good as anything else we've got. I guess it's because you could have found this much earlier. It's cool. A tooth from a Venom Fang lizard is attached to a pole, which makes for a simple but effective weapon. But it's not very good compared to the gear we've already got. Okay, well let's go down this tunnel and see what's down here. We'll go back to the cemetery later, but for now I'm interested in seeing what's in this area. Oh, we're underwater. Is it a completely underwater dungeon? Oh boy. Made it. What are you doing? He vanished. Well, we made it across, which is cool. What's over here, though? I think this is the last temple. Ooh, that looks interesting. There is a tunnel down here. We're not done in the cemetery yet, but this area seems interesting. And since we've only just figured out how to get here for the first time, I'm tempted to explore it a little bit. Still can't get across to there, though.
This does seem like it's one of those temple rooms, though. And it looks like this time, the pass stayed. Maybe because we made it across? Okay. This is the elemental shrine of water. Water is the rune of willpower and frost. Southeast is when the forces of water are strongest. Oh, the seeker of the hidden shrine. Only by standing in the place with perfect elemental equi equilibrium shalt thou summon forth the gate to the hidden one. Hmm. Bring forth four power gems to fuse them into the essence of the element. Not all of the gems lie under the sky, some of them are buried deep underground. So you put all four power gems like normal to make the water element. Do we have any power gems right now? We have air, earth, and fire already. So this is where we have to make the last element. So we know that some of the remaining ones are in the cemetery. The other ones must be in the pyramid, I guess. Scroll of Frost Shield. Huh. We probably can do that already, don't we? Yeah, we already have that spell. So that's not super useful to us, but uh, we'll hold on to it anyway. I don't know if we need these anymore. I think we can probably get away with dropping them, since we've already opened up the passage to the cemetery, and that's all that those are about. We can probably avoid holding on to them any further. 